my coach and I was talking about we're going to start off trying to make a few cuts in the cup, first couple of events, then we want to finish top 10 and then we, we want to win one. And then Corona happened. Back home I had time to, to work on a few things and sort out my wedging a little bit, sort out some technical stuff and then be more ready for Scottish Open. I knew the cameras was out, but I was thinking I was playing with Danielle, so she was world number two at that point. So I was thinking, oh, they're probably out watching her. And then when I got back, I realized, oh, okay, maybe they were watching me. <laughs> this is crazy. I, I just was going here to see where my game was at, and then I was competing for the win. And then obviously I carried it on a little bit more into British Open the week after, and then I won in Czech the week after that. Suddenly my mindset changed a little bit going into Dubai that now I had to defend the race to Costa del Sol. I wanted to qualify for the US Open and, and things like that. I played that Sunday three under without any bogeys and that kind of made me believe it a little bit more and I think that's part of the reason I could, could start off so well in Saudi. Did you find the second victory or the first victory more satisfying in Saudi? I think the first one because of the way I kind of fought back twice and then I hit that amazing shot and regular play to get into the playoff. That really is a sublime effort from Emily Pedersen. Game on. On the playoff, that was just an unbelievable feeling. Um, but then to follow it up again with the wind, I was really proud to be able to go in and deliver the week after because I was knackered and, and sometimes, you know, you can be a little bit like the week after you play, like worn out, but I was really proud that I could pick myself up and, and, and go into it with a good mentality again. It's just crazy going from being so far out of it for two years and then winning four times in the season so far. It's, it's just crazy. And I was just, I can't believe this has happened. And then, yeah, I just think it was relief and shock and happiness all in the same, I think. It's really important for me to just stay grounded and be the person you are. I mean, when I struggled, I said it was hard for me to separate the, the golfer and the person, and I want to be able to separate the golfer and the person as well when it's going well. I think it's, it's really important to, to say the same person, and obviously my job is going really well at the moment, um, but it doesn't change who I am.